Yo, crew, dive into the future of naval warfare with us as we unpack China's ultra-fast AI torpedo. The future of naval warfare? This mind-blowing tech could change submarine battles forever. Think insane speeds, AI-driven decisions, and game-changing strategy. In this video, we're asking the big questions. How fast is it? Can it outsmart defenses? Is this a global power shift? Join us as we break it all down. Don't miss out. Hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more epic tech deep dives. How does AI make this torpedo so fast and deadly? This is some next level stuff, so let's break it down in a way that's easy to grasp but packed with the juicy details. The speed of China's torpedo comes from its supercavitation tech, which lets it zip through water at crazy speeds. Think 200 knots or more, like Russia's VA-111 SHK Val. Supercavitation creates a bubble of vapor around the torpedo, slashing water resistance so it moves like a rocket underwater. But here's where AI steps in to make it even faster. Optimized navigation. AI uses real-time data to tweak the torpedo's path, ensuring it stays in that sweet supercavitation zone. It's like having a super smart GPS that adjusts on the fly to avoid turbulence or obstacles that could slow it down. Propulsion efficiency. AI could be fine-tuning the torpedo's propulsion system, like advanced rocket or scramjet tech, to squeeze out every bit of thrust. By analyzing hydrodynamic models, it ensures the torpedo maintains peak speed without wasting energy. How AI makes it deadly. Speed's only half the story. AI makes this torpedo a stone-cold killer by boosting its accuracy and smarts, especially against sneaky decoys. Here's how. 92.2% decoy detection accuracy. Chinese researchers claim their AI, using a physics-informed convolutional neural network and generative adversarial network, GAN, can tell real submarines from decoys with 92.2% accuracy, even in chaotic underwater battles. This is huge because modern submarine warfare uses high-tech decoys that mimic sub-signatures or create false bubble trails. The AI was trained on classified test data from the PLA Navy's high-speed torpedo ranges, blending physics-based simulations of bubble collapse and turbulence with machine learning. The GANs generator creates fake decoy profiles, while the discriminator learns to spot the real deal, making the torpedo a decoy-dodging ninja. Real-time target recognition the AI processes sonar and acoustic data at lightning speed, identifying legit targets despite jammers, decoys, or multiple threats. This is critical because supercavitating torpedoes are super loud and can struggle to see targets at high speeds. AI compensates by making split-second calls without needing human input. Autonomous decision-making. Since underwater comms are spotty, the torpedo's AI makes independent decisions, picking the highest threat targets and adjusting its course to maximize lethality. This autonomy is powered by deep learning models that handle complex underwater environments. Why this matters This AI isn't just making the torpedo faster, it's making it smarter. Legacy torpedoes often miss targets due to decoys or noise, but this one's 92% success rate in simulations is a leap forward. It's designed to dominate in messy, high-threat underwater battlespaces, where old-school torpedoes might flinch. Combine that with supercavitation, and you've got a weapon that's both blisteringly fast and scarily precise. How does its AI handle countermeasures like decoys, jammers, or anti-torpedo systems? Submarines and ships use all kinds of tricks to dodge torpedoes. Decoys mimic sub-signatures or create fake bubble trails, jammers mess with sonar signals, and anti-torpedo systems, like the US Navy's ATTDS, launch interceptors to take out incoming threats. China's AI torpedo has to outsmart these to be the deadly weapon it's hyped to be. Here's how its AI steps up. 1. Decoy Detection. 92.2% Accuracy. The torpedo's AI uses a physics-informed convolutional neural network paired with a GAN, trained on classified PLA Navy data. This setup gives it a reported 92.2% accuracy in distinguishing real submarines from decoys, even in chaotic underwater environments. The GANs generator creates fake decoy signatures, 
like bubble clouds or acoustic pings, while the discriminator learns to spot the real target by analyzing patterns like bubble collapse or subspecific acoustics. This lets the torpedo ignore decoys that mimic sub-movements or sounds, which older torpedoes often fall for. 2. Jammer Resistance Jammers flood the water with noise to confuse torpedo sonar. The AI counters this by processing multi-frequency sonar data in real time, filtering out noise and focusing on authentic target signals. Think of it like noise-canceling headphones but for underwater warfare. The AI's deep learning models are trained on simulated jamming scenarios, so it can adapt to new interference patterns. It might also use passive sonar, listening for natural subsounds, to bypass active sonar jamming, making it harder to fool. 3. Evading anti-torpedo systems. Anti-torpedo systems, like interceptors or hard kill measures, rely on detecting the torpedo early to launch a counterattack. The AI torpedo's supercavitation speed, 200 to 300 knots, gives it a tiny window of vulnerability. Targets have seconds to react, not minutes. The AI enhances this by enabling evasive maneuvers. It analyzes incoming threats, like interceptor torpedoes, via sonar and adjusts its path dynamically, using pre-trained models to predict the best dodge. This is huge because supercavitating torpedoes are typically hard to steer at high speeds, but AI makes it agile. Could this torpedo shift how navies deploy submarines or plan battles? China's ultra-fast AI torpedo, with its 200 to 300 knot supercavitation speed and 92.2% decoy-busting AI, is a potential nightmare for submarines and surface ships. Here's how it could force navies to rethink their submarine deployments and battle plans. 1. Submarines on high alert. Subs rely on stealth, lurking deep and quiet to avoid detection. They use decoys, acoustic jamming, or slow maneuvers to dodge traditional torpedoes, 50-60 knots. With the AI torpedo's blazing speed, subs have seconds, not minutes, to react. Its AI can see through decoys with 92.2% accuracy, making traditional evasion tricks less effective. Navies might need to deploy farther out. Subs may operate at greater distances from enemy ships or coasts to avoid rapid torpedo strikes. Go deeper. Deeper dives could exploit thermal layers to confuse the torpedo's sonar, though supercavitating torpedoes are less affected by depth. Spread out. Tighter sub-formations might become riskier, as the torpedo's speed and autonomy could target multiple subs in quick succession. 2. Battle Planning Overhaul Navies use subs for stealthy strikes, reconnaissance, or deterrence, often positioning them near choke points. For example, South China Sea, or enemy fleets. Battles assume time for countermeasures like decoys or anti-torpedo systems. The AI torpedo's speed and smarts shrink the decision window, forcing navies to rethink. Preemptive defense. Fleets might prioritize early detection with advanced sonar arrays or drones to spot torpedo launches from afar. Distributed operations. Instead of concentrated fleets, navies could spread ships wider to dilute the torpedo's targeting efficiency, though this risks weaker coordination. Counter-tech rush. Expect a race for better anti-torpedo systems, like the US Navy's ATTDS, or new eye-driven decoys that can fool even a 92.2% accurate torpedo. 3. Shifting naval power dynamics. If China deploys these torpedoes widely, it could dominate regional waters like the South China Sea, where subs are key for control. This might force adversaries, US, Japan, Australia, to avoid high-risk zones or invest heavily in countermeasures. Other navies, Russia, US, may accelerate their own AI and supercavitation projects. The US, for instance, has explored similar tech via DARPA's Underwater Express program, but China's AI integration might give it a temporary lead. Smaller navies could face bigger threats, as China's torpedo could neutralize their subs quickly, pushing them toward cheaper, unmanned underwater vehicles, UUVs, instead. Can it strike from massive distances, and what kind of damage can it do? Let's talk range first. China's ultra-fast AI torpedo is moving at 200 to 300 knots by creating a vapor bubble to reduce water drag. 
But here's the deal with range. Estimated range. Supercavitating torpedoes, like Russia's VA-111 SHK Val, typically max out at 10 to 20 miles, 16 to 32 kilometers. Why? Their rocket-like propulsion burns fuel crazy fast to maintain those blistering speeds. China's version, even with AI optimization, likely operates in a similar range due to the physics of supercavitation. The AI might squeeze out a bit more range by optimizing fuel use or adjusting speed dynamically based on target distance. For example, it could slow slightly to extend range while still outpacing traditional torpedoes, 50 to 60 knots. Compared to conventional torpedoes like the US MK-48, which can hit 30 plus miles, this AI torpedo's range isn't massive. Its strength is speed, not long distance travel. Navies would likely deploy it in closer range scenarios, like ambushes in contested waters, for example, South China Sea. Tactical Context The torpedo's 200 to 300 knot speed means it can close 10 miles in about 2 to 3 minutes, compared to 12 to 15 minutes for a standard torpedo. So, even if its range is limited, it strikes fast, giving targets little time to react. Long-range sonar or drones could spot it early, but the short window makes evasion tough. Now, let's get to the destruction part. What kind of pain can this torpedo dish out? Warhead power. Supercavitating torpedoes typically carry conventional high-explosive warheads, often in the 200 to 300 kilograms, 440 to 660 pounds, range, similar to the Shikval's 210 kilograms warhead. China's version likely packs a comparable punch, designed to sink or cripple submarines and surface ships. A 200 to 300 kilograms warhead can punch through a sub's pressure hull, causing catastrophic flooding or destruction. A direct hit could sink a sub in seconds, especially with the torpedo's high-speed amplifying kinetic impact. Damage critical systems, for example, propulsion, sonar, or breach hulls, potentially sinking smaller vessels like frigates or disabling larger ones like destroyers. Aircraft carriers, with heavier armor, might survive a single hit but could face severe damage. The torpedo's AI, with 92.2% decoy detection accuracy, ensures it hits the real target, not a decoy, maximizing damage. It can also aim for vulnerable spots, such as, a sub's engine or a ship's keel, by analyzing real-time sonar data. At 200 to 300 knots, the torpedo's sheer speed adds a kinetic punch, like a bullet hitting a target. This could amplify damage even if the warhead's smaller than those of slower, long-range torpedoes. A 300-knot impact could exacerbate structural damage, cracking hulls or rupturing compartments beyond what the explosive alone would do. The shorter 10 to 20 mile range means it's not ideal for distant targets, limiting its use to specific tactical scenarios. Compared to larger torpedoes, such as MK-48 650 kg warhead, the AI torpedo's payload might be less devastating against heavily armored targets like carriers. Supercavitating torpedoes are loud, making them easier to detect at launch, which could give targets a slim chance to deploy countermeasures if they're quick. Is China testing these now, or are we years away from seeing them in action? There's solid evidence it's being tested now. Here's the breakdown. Current testing phase. A peer-reviewed paper from April 2025 in the Chinese journal Command Control and Simulation confirms that researchers from the PLA Navy Armament Department and China State Shipbuilding Corporation have tested the torpedo's AI system against classified high-speed torpedo range data. The AI achieved a 92.2% success rate in distinguishing real submarines from decoys in simulated tense exchanges. These tests focused on the AI's ability to handle complex underwater environments with decoys, jammers, and multiple threats, using a physics-informed convolutional neural network in GAN. This suggests China is actively refining the torpedoes targeting and navigation systems in controlled settings, likely at naval test ranges in the South China Sea, such as, near Hainan Island, a known submarine testing hub. While the paper doesn't confirm live fire tests of the full torpedo system, supercavitation plus AI, the use of real test range data implies hardware is at least in prototype testing. China's history of testing advanced torpedoes, like the U-10 in 2015, 
supports the idea that physical trials are underway. How close to deployment? The 92.2% accuracy claim is from simulations, not combat, meaning the system is still in the R&D phase. The paper notes that the AI's deep learning recognition model lays the technical groundwork for field deployment, but real-world combat conditions with unpredictable variables, such as, currents, advanced countermeasures, haven't been tested yet. China's track record suggests a 3-5 to five year timeline from prototype to deployment for advanced naval weapons. For example, the U-10 torpedo, revealed in 2015, took years to refine after initial tests. Given the complexity of integrating AI with supercavitation, experts estimate deployment could be two to five years away, 2027 to 2030, if testing progresses smoothly. Posts on X and reports from outlets like South China Morning Post, June 2025, indicate ongoing development but don't confirm operational status, suggesting it's not yet ready for action. The US is countering with AI-driven torpedoes, MK-48, VLWT, and defensive systems, ATT, decoys, while Russia's SHK Val and Poseidon keep it competitive. Germany, India, and Australia are developing niche solutions, but China's speed and AI combo is a unique threat. The race is tight, and navies are scrambling to match or neutralize this game-changer. What do you think? Can the US or Russia outpace China's AI torpedo, or is it too far ahead? Drop your thoughts in the comments, share this video, and hit that bell for more tech breakdowns. Peace out.